Just a little bit about this evaluation that you've started. Today is the first day. We are a multidiscipline team. Everybody that's being evaluated will need to have certain testing done. Well, everybody has to have some sort of cardiac testing, whether it's a stress test of their heart or an echo of their heart. Everybody will need to have some sort of imaging of their liver, meaning an MRI or a CAT scan. Some people have already had that done. Others, it will be scheduled. People age 50 or older, or if they have a family history, will need to have a colonoscopy. For, for women, they need to have their mammogram, their pap smear. Um, everybody needs to have dental and clearance. We want to make sure you don't have any uh, broken teeth or any areas in your mouth that could cause an infection. Um, if you've had a problem with either drugs or alcohol, it's going to really be important to get substance relapse prevention counseling, get that in place. So these things are going to be scheduled for you, and um, or they can be done locally. If we can get that done, that's great. The other things to know that, again, this is a multidiscipline team. People work with a social worker. The social workers will gather information, and they're a great resource to help you out. You'll meet with a nutritionist, financial coordinator, pharmacist, psychiatrist. Not everybody does, but you could over time if you need to or want to. Transplant surgeon, hepatologist, transplant coordinators, and, of course, yourself. For the coordinators, it's myself and Marty and Delia. And what our job is, is really to provide you with education and help you navigate, and what we are, coordinators, help you coordinate this whole process. Um, we meet, we uh, take in the referrals and we help you navigate to get you to the time frame that we can have a discussion and um, hopefully get you on the wait list if that's what's right for you. You'll have our cards so you can uh, talk to us anytime you need to, either email, either email us or phone us, whatever works for you. The social workers are Jess and Danielle. Um, they're really great resources. They, what they want to know is that you have people that can help you out, that you have some supports in place. You'll meet with them. They're going to see if they can help you out. Uh, there are certain ways of getting um, transportation here that sometimes that can be helpful. They're going to want to make sure that if you've had problems with drugs or alcohol that you're working with a counselor and they can help direct you on how to obtain that. Um, they're really here to help provide support for you. We work with a nutritionist. Jess Witchy primarily works with us. She's the first picture over to, towards the um, right. And she does a great job working with us. She um, can really help you if you're on a sodium-restricted diet or a fluid-restricted diet. She can be very helpful with that. And she'll be um, you know, happy to work with you. Ah, Sam Singh, the financial counselor. So everybody's health care coverage has already been um, peered into and looked into to make sure that you, your insurance will allow you to come to Mass General for your evaluation and to receive your liver transplant here. I mean, the things that he wants to make sure is that you have coverage so that the medication that you take for a lifetime after transplant, which can be very expensive, that you have coverage for that. It tends to be having a co um, usually Medicare and what we call a wraparound coverage. So he'll work with you with that so you don't end up having you know, a big expense at the end of all this. The transplant pharmacist, uh, they're, they're very, very helpful. How we work with the pharmacist is they're at the selection meeting. They take a look at what medicines that you're on, and if they see something that they're um, concerned might interact with the medication for the immunosuppression that you take after transplant prograph, they're going to want to make sure that they investigate that. Um, we also wait until a person has a MELD score that gets up close to 30, and then we tend to have you have a transplant um, education tour over on Blake 6 and at that time you'll meet with the pharmacist and they can go over um, the, their um, information with you then. The transplant psychiatrist, Dr. Ivkovic, a lot of people think, oh gee, I don't want to see a transplant psychiatrist or any psychiatrist, but quite honestly, she can be really helpful. People dealing with chronic disease and liver trans, you know, a pending liver transplant can be very stressful. She can be very helpful to direct you so that you get the therapy that you need or direct the person that's taking care of you locally. So sometimes um, people will ask to have an appointment with her. These are the transplant hepatologists. Um, we work with them, all of them, you know, from the top over. There's a Dr. Chung, Dr. Pratt, Dr. Team, Dr. Anderson, Dr. Corey, Dr. Rutherford, Dr. Hashimi, Dr. Zucker, Dr. Bond. Uh, then we come down to this Judy Bloom, who's a nurse practitioner, and Abigail Scher, she's a physician's assistant. What will happen is you'll have your transplant evaluation. You'll meet with one of the hepatologists, tends to be Dr. Pratt, and then you'll be coming back in about a three-month period, and again, you'll have an appointment either with, you'll have it with him, but you'll meet Judy and Abigail at that time. These are our transplant surgeons. Dr. Markman's the head of the program. He um, tends to be the 
person that people meet if they're here on a Monday and tends to be people meet with the surgeon underneath his face, <laughs> which is Dr. Ye, if you're here on a Wednesday. Uh, and they're all interchangeable. They're a great resource to ask questions on anything and everything to do with liver transplant, but primarily they're going to talk to you about what your options are from the donor when the person dies and donates, what kinds of um, organs that you would benefit from having.